Hi, I'm Kelly Mantle, and this is Rank. Rank these drag race first outs. <laughs> I wonder why I got this one. Okay, let's see. First, we have Kelly Mantle. Put her at number five, honey. She's the worst. She's absolutely the worst. So, oh. Okay, well, hold on now. We got Soju. Now, I know about some, you know, problematic queens. So, let's go ahead and move Kelly to number four and then move Soju over to number five. Can we just remove Soju from the screen? Okay, so now we have James, Penetration, and Naisha. Mmm, this is so hard because I love them all so much. Okay, now I do love Penetration. I love an old school queen, honey. Um, let's go ahead and put her at number uh, three. And then let's put the gorgeous Naisha Lopez at number two. No, actually, let's move Kelly to number three and move Penny over to number four. There we go. Okay, and then I do love James Mansfield. So you know what, let's go ahead and move Naisha over to three and Kelly up to two. There we go. And then let's give James Mansfield number Two. Go ahead and move Kelly to number one and then move James up to number two. There we go. Okay, now we're going to rank these soups. Now, let me tell y'all something. I am a soup queen, honey. I love a good liquid diet. I like a soup and alcohol. That's all I eat. Now, I don't know what that one in the middle is. That looks like some of that um, faux soup. Is that correct? Is that <laughs> tofu? Bullshit. Put that at number five. I don't even know what it is. And is that a matzo ball at number five? Uh, that's a French onion soup. Oh, God. Okay, put that at four, honey. We don't do French onion soup. Okay, and then I'm not a big seafood kind of gal, so let's just put clam chowder at number three. And honey, this is hard between the tomato and the chicken noodle. Now, if you're going to have a tomato soup, you have to have a grilled cheese with it. Otherwise, it, it ain't doing nothing. So put her at number two, and then put chicken noodle at number one. It cures all your ailments. Rank these bottled waters. This is actually my favorite bottled water. It's Arrowhead, and it is not on the list. Okay. Dasani, we need to talk. When you open a bottled water, it should not fizz. There should be no fizz action going on. So we're gonna put Dasani at number five. That is something in that water that's making it fizz, so I don't trust it. All right, um, the Life Water I have never had. That's a very pretty bottle. It looks like something you'd get in the gift bag at a Gay Pride event. We'll go ahead and put her at number three, just for the packaging. Um, Crystal Geyser, you know, if you're in a pinch, and it's the only thing available, then I would go with Crystal, but put her at four, honey. Okay, Voss. Now, this is a very interesting uh, packaging here. This looks like very expensive water. And I know that Delta Work likes to uh, showcase that on her desk at Very Delta. So we'll put her at number two. And Fiji will go at number one because it makes you feel like you're on vacation in Fiji. Okay, now this is one of my favorite. Rank these guilty pleasures. But honey, I don't feel guilty about loving any of this. Okay, well out of these guilty pleasures, online shopping is gonna go number five, honey. Because, you know, that's just kind of boring compared to all these. We're going to assume that the cookies and pies are not weed infused, so we're gonna move those to four because they are a weight gainer. And we don't like that. Um, Oh gosh, now we have to decide between weed, alcohol, and sex, which if you combine all three of those, you have the perfect component. Can, so can we just kind of merge all three of those at one? I have to play by the rules, so we're gonna try to rank these. I always say that 
Sex is like pizza. Even when it's bad, it's good. So let's move sex to number two. We're gonna move alcohol to number three just because it can be poisonous and bad for your health. And as I always say, weed makes everything better. So we're gonna move her to number one. I love you, weed. Okay, rank these pop divas. This is so hard because I love all of them. We've got Beyonce, we've got Cher, we've got Gaga, we've got Rihanna, and we've got Madonna. Oh my gosh, how am I gonna do this, y'all? This is so hard. You can't put any of these at five. You just can't. This is insane. <sighs> I'm gonna get so much for this. Okay, I'm gonna put Rihanna at five only because she hasn't released a new album in like a hundred years and we're all still waiting for it. <laughs> but I know she's been busy. She's been giving birth and everything. So we'll let her rest over there at five right now until she gets that new album out. Um, Oh my gosh, y'all. This is so hard. Um, I can't do this. Okay, we're gonna put, um, we're gonna put, we're gonna have to put Gaga at four, and I can't even believe that I'm having to do that, but out of this list, I've gotta put Gaga at four because Beyonce has to go at three and Madonna has to go at two, and I'm putting Cher at one because she's like 100,000 years old, and look at her. She's amazing. I mean, who can do that at 100,000 years old? I mean, number two's not far behind, but you know. Let me make sure that's my final decision. Yeah, final decision. Why wasn't Taylor Swift on the list? I didn't learn on this journey. I learned that it's very hard to rank things because I like a lot of things and I don't like a lot of things. But I do know that I love Cher. Thank you for watching and be sure to like and subscribe to the PEG channel. Bye. <laughs>